According to the Transport Department, there are more than 31 lakh vehicles in Bangalore that are over 15 years. These vehicles are still plying on the road, emitting poisonous gases like carbon and methane, which are harmful to the environment and people. Around 20 lakh vehicles were found unfit for the roads in 2022. However, the owners of the vehicle have to pay high amount to get their fitness certificate issued. The car is 17 years old and uh, there are so many formalities and the fees are so high and even the online forms are very very much difficult to fill for an individual and no one either comes to check what we have. According to the green tax announced by the centre, the fee for the fitness certificate is increased to Rs 1500 for two-wheelers and 4500 for four-wheelers. The application fees for heavy vehicles is 12,000 rupees. According to the transport department, heavy vehicles contribute the highest in air pollution. The highest AQI reading shows in KSPCB data is 200. People are not coming forward. Maybe the reason that they don't want to scrap their vehicle because their father might use, his, use that vehicle, they want to keep the vehicle. Or the person scrapping may be a little tedious in the country or some are lazy that they don't want to come forward to scrap this vehicle. So, understanding all these issues, Minister of Road Transport and Highways came up with a policy that people don't go to the RTO officers, police, anybody else. They can just go to the centre, give this vehicle to the centre. If vehicles are found unfit, their licences are cancelled or they need to be scrapped. This step is necessary to keep the environmental impact in check and prevent unnecessary traffic and space for vehicles. Expert says people will only come forward when there will be less fees for renewing their certificates. A new policy, Investment Opportunities Under Voluntary Vehicles Fleet Modernization Policy VVMP, is going to be implemented, which targets the voluntary scrapping of unfit commercial and passenger vehicles strictly based on their fitness, irrespective of their age. The usage, I mean, uh, getting this with AFCs uh, done for the vehicles which are more than 15 years, uh, so that they can promote as much as possible. And uh, it's not just the promotion, they should also uh, let the people or the public know the uh, usage and the, uh, the real reason behind that and the environmental contribution. Uh, if there is a reasonable cost put on this FCS that helps, that may help the people to come forward and get their fitness certificates done. The new policy will be aimed at creating an ecosystem for phasing out the polluting vehicles, making people aware about the fitness certificate. This is Astha Chopra reporting for CityCast, Bangalore.